Want to make the easiest and most delicious side dish for Thanksgiving? This will be your new family favorite. Hey guys, I'm Shireen. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to make one of my family's favorite side dish. I've been having this ever since I was a little girl. Sweet candied yams. Three ingredients. It is the most simple dish. You're gonna make it for Thanksgiving and you're also going to make it with your Easter ham because nothing pairs better than a sweet and salty ham and then you have that savory turkey. We have these delicious candied yams. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make it. You're gonna love it. All right, so first to get started, you wanna peel your yams. My mother always used these so I use these as well. I do think they're a little bit sweeter, but I actually love the color when you're making the candy yam. So they just look really beautiful and rich. So, so you want three pounds and you're gonna slice them rather thick. This is the perfect size. A prep ahead tip. So you have your large zipper bag, easiest way to fill it. Open it up. You see that? You just want to turn the top down just like that. Open it up. Now it's like a little bowl. And you don't have to submerge them in water. It's not the same like a potato where a potato oxidizes and turns brown. So our yams are prepped, ready to go. I'm gonna put these into my refrigerator. I like to put them in a bag. It's just easier to store in my refrigerator. So now it's time to prepare the yams heavy bottom stock pot. So here I have a six quart, you could use an eight quart, which is really important, I'll explain why. Our brown sugar, so a lot of brown sugar. Pinch of salt. Water. And butter. We're gonna turn the heat on medium-high until it comes to a slight boil, and then reduce the heat to medium-low. All right, so here's where we wanna be, right here. It's gonna to come to a slight boil. Now we're gonna reduce the heat to medium-low. We're gonna cover. You want it to be slightly vented. See that, see how there's a little vent right here? It can boil over, even at medium-low heat. All right, so let's check on our yam. See, now we have the butter starting to melt. We have some good liquid in there. So we added some water and the natural moisture from the yam starts to release. So this is actually a really good size pot because we wanna make sure they're all in the liquid. So I didn't add a lot of water, just a little bit. Now from time to time, we'll gently take the ones on the bottom, we'll rotate them to the top so they all cook evenly. You want to cradle the heat between medium and medium low. See the little bubbles that are starting to form and it's almost a little concentrated? We're almost there. So let's grab a paring knife and see if they are tender. Perfect. Take a paring knife. If it goes in nice and easy, we're good to go. Now we're going to carefully remove the yams with a slotted spoon. So some will break a little. That's okay. They were actually my favorite ones when I was a kid. And now we're removing the yams into your serving bowl. So you, at this point, your little prep ahead tip, another one, you could actually keep these warm in a warming drawer or in the lowest setting of your oven. And then when you get ready to serve your yams, you'll pour the candy over top. So I'll show you how to reduce this liquid and make the candy. Let's see if our candy is ready. So you can see all those little bubbles that coat the entire surface. That's a good indicator. You wanna take a spoon, French technique referred to as nappe. Go like this, if it doesn't run, see how it doesn't run into the line we made? Perfect. It will coat our candied yams beautifully. What a 
is your family's favorite Thanksgiving recipe or even any holiday recipe? I want to hear from you in the comment box below. And if you haven't already yet subscribed to my channel, you can do that below. And don't forget to ring the dinner bell so you don't miss any notifications. Family, candied ram, candied ram. <laughs> candied yam recipe. Yeah. Hello. I give me a thumb up, thumb up, thumb up. <gasps>